Hey, this is Julie Larson with DivasMobileSolutions.com and I want to share with you something that I think is kind of cool. I just learned about it this week and I want to thank Cheryl Nicholson of Cheryl.com. She's the one who turned me on to SavvyCard.net and here's my new business e-card which is made by a website or a program called SavvyCard. So this, what you see on the screen here, is what you would actually see on your phone if I sent you the link to my e-card. Okay? So you can see that all these are buttons that you can push and they are functioning. You have a whole selection of things that you can do. You can send me an email. Um, you can go to, you can fill out a profile for you and your business like I've done here. Um, there's you can take notes so maybe you meet somebody at a business networking luncheon or something and you want and you get their e-card now you can add a note to it and you can edit it and let's go back there alright so oh there's links to our site and you can add other links too I just added one to show you kinda quickly here um, okay, the, oh, I know on the other side there's a flip where you, it'll take you to all the social media buttons that you link to. And oh, they can actually save it. Okay, so I'm going to go back here and oh, here's one other thing. Uh, you can share it. So let's say you are at a business networking event and people are exchanging business cards. You can give them your physical card, of course, but then you can also ask them um, if they would like to receive a card, an e-card from you. And when you do that, you're going to type in your name there and then the recipient's email and you can send the, the e-card immediately. They'll get a link to it. You could text it to them or you could simply bring this screen up on your phone and they could take their phone and they could scan it and then screen your e-card too. So I think that's all kind of cool. Um, let me show you what my partner Laura did. She uses an iPhone and I use an Android so she was able to open up the link on her phone. I sent her a link to my business e-card and she opened it up, she bookmarked it, and then she saved the little icon here on her home screen of her phone and she took a screenshot to show me so I could share this with you. So now whenever she wants to have my e-card there, she can just click on that icon and she'll have access to my uh, e-card site and all the uh, little buttons and everything. So that's kind of cool and I want to thank Laura for doing that for me and I am going to come into my new SavvyCard.net account and I'm going to set up an e-card for her as well. Now one thing I want to tell you about SavvyCard is it is in beta and um, right now it's free. I don't know if that will always be that way but it's free for now and um, it looks like they're going to be adding other types of cards too so you can read more about that but I am actually logged into my account now I'm gonna click up on my cards here's the card that I've got created and I'm gonna create a new one for Laura so create new card edit the card I'm gonna put in the card info so we are divas at divas mobile solutions let me fill that in. And I'm going to make this one for Laura. Actually, okay, there we go. Laura. All right. Okay, I'll save that information there. I might kind of, I might skip a few steps here just for the sake of time, but you'll get the idea of where you do all this. And they have stock backgrounds there that you can choose from so that you can have a pretty background or you can upload a background which I did and I created one it'll give you the instructions but I think it was um, 640 yeah there it is 640 wide by 960 in height and it has to be a JPEG 
I tried uploading a PNG and that did not work. So you can see I uploaded two. This one didn't look quite right, so I went ahead and uploaded this one too. And I'm going to apply that to the card. Okay. And that looks like that's all ready. And it looks like they also have a custom service if you want to have, have them make a custom background for you. So we've got the, let's see, what does it say, picture? Okay, well that must be this background picture. And then the buttons. And what I would do is here I would go ahead and add our um, our business phone number here or maybe Laura's cell phone there and save it. Um, I'm going to have an email button here and so okay and you have a choice of whether you want to show the button or hide it so when I clicked show it just popped up over there um, let's see our organization I guess I could put some more information about Divas Mobile in there oh my sites I'm gonna go ahead and add that and then put a link to our site Okay, then I'll add that one. Oh, it says, yes, show this button on my card. So notice when I click Save, look up over to the right there, that popped up. So I'm starting to activate all these buttons here. And anyway, okay, I won't continue on there. You get the idea. The other cool thing like I was showing you this icon here I created that and then I uploaded it to Savvy Card and so now we've got a little icon if you don't upload your own custom one this is the one that will appear on the the uh, phone so let me see if I've got that one here Okay, here's the icon that I created for Savvy Card, and I made it 150 by 150, and it has to be a JPEG again. And I'm going to upload it. Okay, notice that it's just a little bit too big, so I can I can zoom it out a little, and then. I want it to fit in that little square there. Okay, that looks good. And let's see, I guess crop it and then save icon. All right, so now there's an icon there so that when somebody um, bookmarks Laura's business card they can um, add it to their phone screen if they want or Laura can just keep it on hers so that when she meets somebody and they want the information she can just send it bring up her card on her phone and then she can share with them and then again she can just type in the their email or she can text it to them or they can scan the QR code right there so I think that's really cool. Okay, um, let's see. Oh, there's also a way to SEO the your um, savvy card too. Let me see if I can find that again. Oh, you can add. There's a neat way that they can they'll generate it so that you can take the link and add it to your emails if you want to have it there. Um, you can download the QR code so that you've got it handy on you know maybe on on your business card or uh, so that somebody can scan it 
and then here's where you can optimize it with your title tag put your keywords in your title tag and then a description and then tag your keywords there so anyway you get the idea this video has probably gone on way too long but I just wanted to share this with you oh wait a minute I'm sorry I was so worried about the length of this video that's gone on way too long I apologize there's a couple more things I need to show you about the savvy card alright so once you've got it looking the way you want and all the information in there which by the way you can edit everything you're gonna go ahead and hit publish alright now there's Laura's card now what is really cool about this is there's something when this pops up on somebody's phone screen there's something they can scroll down to the bottom and look at savvy decks and you can this is where you can actually start collecting cards from other people and you know building up your little kinda like an old Rolodex alright for those of you who remember what that is um, how you can also use that is you can search here and so maybe I wanted to find all the plumbers with savvy cards I can look there do a search and here's a plumber here um, here's a plumber and Suffner oh, maybe yeah there you go well that's kind of a cool uh, savvy card look at what a nice background that they've done um, okay so that those are two other things I wanted to show you one other thing is when you look at my cards here's the URL okay it's savvycard.com forward slash Julie Larson forward slash DMS um, here's one here the one that I made for Laura now I don't really want that URL to show up for Laura's card because it's got my name on it there so I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a subdomain and then that then I'll um, direct it forward it to the savvy card so look up here and I've created a subdomain julie.divasmobile.com and it takes you over to my site so if somebody were to type in julie.divasmobile.com in their phone browser they're gonna go right to my savvy card so that's a whole nother video showing you how to do the subdomain so please Come over to DivasMobileSolutions.com, sign up for our newsletter. Thank you kindly, and thanks for hanging in there with me. Bye-bye.